and about 15 minutes from where Border Patrol is rolling out that razor wire, armed members of the military are doing the same. That's right. Our tenders reporter Matt Boone continues our live coverage right now at the port of entry in San Ysidro, where troops are on a mission to harden the border there. Matt. Steve, those active duty troops have been out here for several days. Earlier, they could be seen down here in between the lanes heading into Mexico. You can see those K rails down there covered with layers of barbed wire. They were out here working on those, and we've got some video from earlier. You can see them actually building those and then bringing them down the lanes towards the entrance into Mexico. Government officials say it's part of the process of hardening the border in anticipation of that migrant caravan, the bulk of which has not yet made it here. The active duty troops include Marines from Camp Pendleton. There are expected to be more than 1,000 active duty troops deployed to the border here in California and about 7,000 across the entire southern border of the U.S. Part of the process has also included shutting down three of the lanes coming into the U.S. here at San Ysidro and one of the lanes at the Otay port of entry. In video from Sky 10, you can see the lanes on the western side of the entrance have been closed. It's not yet known exactly what the effect will have on traffic, though it could have an effect on local businesses down here, according to the Chamber of Commerce. The thing that, that, that affects us probably most is just the image of the military and barbed wire and all of that at our, at our, at our border. Um, because we have such a binational uh, region here and most of us, you know, cross every day, just that image alone will keep some people away. And according to CBP, all these fortifications, the military and those lane closures will remain in effect indefinitely until they feel that any threat that the migrant caravan may pose has passed. Reporting live at no time, Asa, sorry, San Ysidro, Mapoon, 10 News.